welcome to the classroom. Today we're going to be looking at the Hoosier. And you might wonder where that word Hoosier comes from. Well, the first cabinet standalone cupboards were made in Indiana. Indiana is known for Hoosiers. Um, and so this was a one-stop station in your kitchen. Back in the early 20th century, um, many kitchens didn't have cabinetry. And so having this kind of a device in your room would allow you to store all the basic things you needed, your pots, your pans, your utensils, and some food items. And so today we're going to look a little closer at the Hoosier. And the first thing you'll notice is this is a great area to store things, big mixing bowls, uh, your butter churn, that sort of thing. And then below that we have a cabinet, which I'm going to open up. And this is a great thing because you can see we're storing uh, coffee and tea and a coffee grinder. Uh, we have a mortar and pestle, some spices. And then on the sides, we have um, a little uh, cardboard thing that where you can move it around and change the various uh, salad fixings and menus for, the, for different times of the day. Uh, on the right here is an area where you can list things you need to purchase at the store, maybe a timer for how long you should cook things. Um, and then down below we have an area where you open this up and here's where you're doing the majority of your cooking. You have a flour bin here with a sifter, so you can turn this and it'll sift your flour. Over here is the sugar, so you open that cap and you can have the sugar fill up your measuring cup. You also have a, uh, a spice rack, and this would all come with the Hoosier, all these things. Uh, little glass containers. You might have a sugar bowl and some other features too. Um, so all of this is right at your fingertips. Um, this countertop is great in that you can pull it out and you can roll dough on it. You can cut biscuits. It allows you to kind of do everything in one spot. Down below are, are shallow drawers for utensils. Down here for larger utensils. This is a bread box. And then in this door is where you can store larger items like scales and, and pots and pans and other cast iron things. So this whole thing means you could actually have a stool in front and be sitting in one spot and do everything you needed to do, then take the food over and work at your stove. So this is great. Now in many homes, you had, um, you had country homes like here at Pennypacker Mills and uh, your Hoosier was on wheels. But you notice there's these little casters down here and these would be filled with salt because it would keep vermin from climbing up and getting into your sugar and your flour bin. So little things like that, maybe not so noticed by the average person, but back in those days, that was a helpful thing. So hopefully this gives you an idea of what life was like for the cook in the kitchen at Pennypacker Mills.